Greetings brothers and sisters. My name is Linda and my channel is called Simple Help Now. This week in the movie is coming out called The Sound of Freedom, the story of Tim Ballard and the work to rescue and deliver children caught in the trafficking industry. I haven't seen it yet, but I do plan on seeing it. The release of the movie this weekend, while our nation is celebrating its independence, is a prophetic statement. Our nation, once free, has been trafficked. There has been a trade of souls. We have exchanged sinful lives for godliness, calling it freedom. Most of you are aware of this and are saddened by it. However, the good news is that Jesus spoke Isaiah 61 to us about his work in our lives. I'm going to read a little section of that and share a word and a story for you. Here is that scripture. Jesus was speaking a prophetic word about himself. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted and to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and to the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, and to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes and the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. Jesus came to set the captives free. I believe he's highlighting this movie for the people who are longing to be free from addictions, broken hearts, sin, and slavery. He wants you in a place of freedom so that when he returns, you will meet him with joyful expectation. He also wants your loved ones to be set free. Sometimes the only thing keeping them back from Jesus is that they are being trafficked by the enemy in various ways and can't see how to get out. In my family, there was a man, a family member who became a prisoner of war of the enemy. In his childhood, his father was involved with witchcraft. He became a Christian, but later fell away and became mentally ill due to the use of drugs. We still pray for him in the state. He had children and those children are Christians. But one morning the Lord instructed me to pray for this man in my response to what happened in our family because of his decisions. I repented of any part we added to his distress. By doing that, the Lord revealed that a domino effect would take place. Remember when we used to stack dominoes in a line and touch the first one to watch them tumble? It could be like that. We pray for freedom for one person and then many people in the generation line can be set free. I hope you're tracking with me with this understanding. We want to see everyone in our family rapture ready. We don't want anyone we love to be left behind. Think of those who have touched your life negatively Bless them, pray for them, forgive them, and pray for their salvation. Walk with the Holy Spirit and start a chain reaction of freedom. I want to share a word with you that I felt that the Lord gave me. Feel free to test all words. And here is the word. My children, I am the master craftsman of life, creating masterpieces of every person's soul. My hand is extended to you, to all my children, my troubled ones, my addicted ones, my lonely ones and saddened ones. Listen, reach for me wherever you are, no matter how you feel, and I will send a fire of my spirit, which will break every chain. I want you to be free, waiting in joyful expectation of my coming. Confess your sins, your starting point of sin and run to me as a prodigal son and I will free you. No bar gate will keep me from you as I run to meet you. My children, you who are waiting and longing for your loved ones to come, 
Repent of any sin where it all started. Pray and ask me to heal the waste places, the mistakes, and cover them with my blood. I am coming for a family, and I, will, I long for every broken, sad, and hurting one to be healed and the loss to be embraced in my love. My children, the time is so short. Be diligent and pray. My gathering is soon. I'm calling you home. Call out for freedom and deliverance of your loved ones. Call out for their salvation. Be quick. Time is almost up. I'm coming soon. And that's what he said. And then he added, tell them, I love you. Jesus is coming soon and he doesn't want anyone left behind. Remember that story of the prodigal son. It describes how the father runs for each step that you make toward the father. He runs towards you. Psalms 103, 11 and 12 says, For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. He is waiting for you with great love. Step toward him from where you are. This is Linda from Simple Help Now.